This video is to show how to use the bridge inspection tool developed by Earth Data Analysis Center utilizing the imagery found on UAV type platforms. In this case here we have a multi-band image. You can see it's over a bridge over a culvert in this area with some bare ground on either side. With that same imagery a DEM was developed color-coded here with the, the lowest values in blue, bluish purple, and the highest values being in the red and orange. You can see here some shrubs as well as some a gate or fence that's found here. This imagery at this point was uh, geocorrected or orthocorrected to be about uh, five millimeters spatial resolution, so very fine detail. In total the, the data set is about 500 megabytes. In addition, another data set was acquired providing an example of other imagery that you can use this on. And um, this one is from a FLIR. Unfortunately, this FLIR is not geocorrected, but it does show that you can use the same data of uh, this toolbox with uh, ungeocorrected data. Here is the FLIR imagery with the, the coolest image spots here in blue and the hotter parts here in the whitish orange yellow. So the first thing we will do is load up uh, the tool. And wherever you have uh, downloaded the tool, we'll go ahead and go insert uh, toolbox, add toolbox there. Again, this is a, we're utilizing this in a ArcGIS Pro environment. And then once you've loaded it up, you can go to your catalog and find the bridge inspection toolbox here. So we're gonna do two things with the bridge inspection toolbox. I'm gonna turn off the FLIR image example here. We'll go back to the ortho image example. And in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to utilize one of the, the two subtools found in the, the toolbox here. We're going to use the cracking detection. And the cracking detection tool works with data set that has been uh, corrected, an orthophoto data set that's been corrected, and it's uh, accompanying DSM. So what you will do is you'll add the DSM, again this image right here, and this box here, and then you'll add what the orthophoto is in this box, and then you'll point towards um, a folder that you're going to be using for the output to be put in. Once you've done that, you go ahead and, and click run, and the tool will, will run itself there. It's going to take maybe a little bit of time. It took about five minutes on this uh, data set. Again, this is a about a 500 meg uh, data set here. In the end, we uh, did a couple of results here. One of the things that it puts out is what we call a diff millimeter crack image. It just shows uh, cracks you know, or differences above an ambient surface in millimeters. I'll go ahead and, and zoom in a little bit here. You can see the, uh, along this bridge, which looked kind of smooth, that there are cracking here. If you were to query these values, you'd find out how much um, in millimeters uh, this, this difference is here. Another thing is just a, a crack enhancement, so you can see these cracks. This is again, not a measurement, but it's an image to help you look and see where your cracking may exist along the data set here. So again, this was kind of compared to what we saw before, which it looked like a pretty smooth asphalt, piece of asphalt here. But uh, uh, when you came to this bridge here and did the cracking tool, we emphasized the cracks along these areas here, as well as you can see the bump in the middle that also has some cracking attached to it there. And then the, the guards along this side there. So these are two different products that it develops there. So that's for the cracking uh, product here. The other thing that we have is in the case of a FLIR image. And we'll go back to that, which is ungeocorrected. So I'll go zoom over there. And uh, turn that on. So here's the uh, a flare image again, again with the hotter temperatures being white and orange, the cooler temperatures being in this blue. And we'll go back and uh, go to the catalog and we'll 
we'll use the delamination detection tool. And this one works on the idea that the hotter parts of the long you know, detected from a FLIR image are probably where the, the asphalt has delaminated and um, or the surface has delaminated and the cooler parts are going to be more in, integral type of a surface there. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. Again, in this case, we, we point to where the, the FLIR image is, or as it's noted here, the, the thermal infrared image. Tell the output folder. And uh, then what this process does is it goes through an image segmentation. First creates a principal components image, and then does a seg image segmentation on the, the image. Um, if you're seeing things on this image that aren't, don't come out at the, at the end of the results, you can change the, the values here. These are the defaults, but um, basically these things, spectral detail, is pushed to its highest value, which is 20. But if it looks like you need less detail, uh, you can push down to, to values from 1 to, to 19. Same with spatial detail. If you want less spatial detail, you can push it down to values uh, 1 to 19. And minimum segment size says the minimum size that it will try to find out there. Anything smaller, it will just absorb into a nearby neighboring polygon here. So we've gone ahead and run this. And uh, its result is found here as a polygon. Again, this polygon marking where the, the hottest values are and therefore the potential targets for delamination. So that is um, the two uh, different tools found in the uh, toolbox. Um, again, one for looking at um, cracking, again, with the orthophoto and DEM type image, and then the other one to look at delamination using a thermal infrared or FLIR type image. And again, something to be used in a, the ArcGIS environment. Thank you.